For some nine centuries, artists in West Africa have produced exquisite sculptures. These local sculptors mastered many materials, including ceramics and ivory, but perhaps they are best known for their work in bronze. Two cities, Ife and Benin, both located in modern Nigeria, were especially important centers for the production of sculpture. From about 1100 to 1400 CE, the city of Ife was a wealthy trading center and home to a people called the Yoruba, who still remain in the area today. Their powerful rulers were known in the Yoruba language as the Oni. Ife is sacred to the Yoruba, who believe it is the place where the world was created by the first Oni, named Oduduwa. The Yoruba of Ife made fine artworks in stone and ceramics, but above all, they are famous for their life-size representations of human heads. The heads were made using the lost wax method, a seven-step casting process that uses molten metal. Many Ife heads have been found in the burial compound of Oni Obulafan II, who ruled sometime between 1100 and 1400. Obulafan was said to have invented Ife's casting technique, and it was thought that the heads were originally housed in a shrine dedicated to him. There are two styles of Ife heads. One type has vertical lines on the face, likely to represent scarification. Others are smooth, without marks, although the male heads often have holes around the hairline. It has been suggested that the heads originally had hair inserted in these holes. Scholars believe that the Ife heads have a double significance. Firstly, they are portraits of kings and other powerful individuals who were also considered by the Yoruba to be gods. Secondly, of all parts of the body, the head was particularly important to the Yoruba. It symbolized knowledge, good judgment, and character. Sometime before or during the 14th century, a prince from Ife became king, or Oba, of the nearby kingdom of Benin. The skills developed in Ife were transferred to Benin, where artists produced sculptures that demonstrated a complete mastery of the lost wax casting technique. Benin sculptors made heads of former kings and queens, which were used in elaborate rituals. These heads were displayed on altars to honor the ancestors of the Oba, who, like the Ife kings, were believed to be gods. Some of the heads have a circular space on top in which elaborately carved ivory tusks were placed. These heads linked the ruling king to the past. History was important to the people of Benin. The art forms that most clearly express the link between art and history in Benin are the bronze plaques that once adorned the royal palace. These plaques portray kings, warrior chiefs, priests, musicians, officials, servants, and animals. A number also depict the Portuguese explorers who first came to Benin in the 15th century. Art was so important in Benin that the Oba controlled the production of brass sculptures and plaques and other art forms such as carved ivory. Benin's ivory carvers were just as skilled as the bronze casters and produced works of great beauty and technical skill. Among the exquisite ivory carvings of Benin is a portrait of the Queen Mother Esigie and statues of two leopards made as a gift to Queen Victoria of Britain. The Great Palace of Benin was destroyed in 1897 by British forces invading the city in response to the capture and killing of a British envoy to the Oba. It was later rebuilt on a smaller scale. Benin is still governed by kings descended directly from Obas who ruled the city some 600 years ago.